hey guys welcome back to my channel it's been five days since my last video a lot has happened one oh, excuse me as i said in the last vlog i did an in i had an in got an interview with forever 21 it happened um i may or may not call them see if they are hiring me um and then also today i had a job though maybe that's why my makeup is fully done for the video and not five minutes or ten minutes done but anyways what has happened since that video for one i got a new book from barnes and noble it is called once upon a dream it's pretty much a, a an alternative like a what if the villain one in the end instead of the hero so uh, with this book as you can see Maleficent had a Maleficent okay so yeah I I read the first one it's I how do I, I don't wanna I can't even make a contra a sentence right now but I recommend the books I recommend the author because the first book is a whole new world it's pretty much a scenario like like what if one moment someone does the opposite and it pretty much changes the whole story and so I'm halfway through this book I got it on Monday so the third one is gonna be based with the beast but ooh, anywho but anyways besides that on Thursday we went to Marshall's Ross and Marshall's Ross I got myself a pet of yeah a pet uh, so I can scrape the skin off <laughs> scrape the skin off with my feet on my feet and then also yesterday my finally the remote I've been needing to the actual TV to my actual TV has arrived I ordered it on Amazon pretty much in a replacement and as you kind of can see I have a microphone on me now bought it on Amazon as well and then for Thursday as I said we went to Marshalls and I got three palettes. This one called Life's a Peach and then you can see the colors. I took the brush out. I put them all in my brush. And I'm already and I kinda used it for today. So as you can see, it's pretty much like a pink fuchsia kind of shade color. -y. See, like right there. Oh this one, I think this one called Nice and Fruity is one of my favorites right here. And then I got this. It's called, it's called Too Glam. Yeah, Too Glam. And then as you guys can see, we got a few eyeshadows, some blush, highlighter, and bronzer. I already have so much highlighter. <laughs> um actually uh, starstruck is actually my favorite it's this one right here yeah that one too glam yeah and then the last one i got from marshall is true beauty i actually like it because of the, the the presentation you know little, little hearts roaming around in there and then you open it, you get a little heart view, and then I actually used it. I used most of the golds, but the glitz is actually my favorite color. And then today, Colourpop released the Villain Collection, and I immediately went to it and got Evil Queen, the original Disney villain. As Snow White is the original Disney princess, so she she's probably one of my favorite villains, excluding Gaston, because 
he's hot. Every, every, that's the only reason why. He's really like the only villain out, out of him. And then, as you can see, you got, you get highlights, you get matte, 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 matte. Mate. I can't even pronounce it, but you know, I mean, like a lipstick, and then you get lip gloss. And I'll show you the highlighter because this was actually my favorite one when I went to Ulta. Okay, so I'll take that out. So, Let's see, that is like really, it's this is this is the highlighter I want gold, dramatic, and pretty much when I put it on you will see me from miles away and then like the best thing is it's like so soft like when you put your finger on it so soft like see you can actually see it in the mirror oh but it's so flipping soft like i freaking love it and it's called and the evil queen highlighter is called ferris of all though because you know she was like mirror mirror on the wall who's the ferris of ma but to be honest, this is one of my favorite highlighters I got now. And then I was also debating on also getting the um, misunderstood miss the eyeshadow palette in the collection because a few of the colors I was into. And then and then we're gonna I'm gonna show you the lipstick. And then the best thing is you roll it all the way up show you guys it says villains like they cr they carved that in there like it is like super red and i actually like it because like i don't have a lot of reds i have like a lot of nudes and pink and dark pinks and purples and it's yeah and then right here evil queen mm, i'm going to try it one later in the day and then then we're gonna go to the lips lip gloss it's just oh it's called bad apple and then I'm gonna put it on my put it on my little hand I'll show you Ooh, has a weird sound see oh I and Wanting the rest, I had some of the eyeshadow on my hand as well as the lipstick. So, right here, that that's bad apple. So pretty. I probably wouldn't really use this often, but who knows? And then, then I may or may not get like the eyeshadow, but I just like freaking love the highlighter just the highlighter just got me sold on getting this and but you can like actually like instead of going to like Ulta or whatnot you can actually just order the which highlighter that you like of of the villain that you like instead of just getting like the set because actually the set is like $25 a whole like just getting the lipstick the lip gloss and the highlighter and then the highlighter, I believe, is just ten dollars by itself. The other two is maybe like seven dollars, I believe. Yeah. But worth it. It's. I, I was also thinking of getting Ursula as well, but that's be fifty dollars before I got my tax. But this, I'm excited to play with the highlighter and the lipstick. This is. Oh, I'm so excited. This is oh and then as as of yesterday it was official the perfectionist came out and everything um be honest i was kind of comparing some of the characters like oh this character is like this from like pretty little liars like if you watch like caitlin i would say sparia like a mixture of spencer and aria but she's dating her science teacher and then she she has to be the best of the best like she has to do everything perfect like spencer did in imperial liars and then i think dylan would be 
Emily, not because of his sexual sexual orientation, but he is loyal to the end. Like he will literally keep his mouth shut, even if it means that he gets screwed over. And then I would say Ava would be Hannah, cause Hannah was into fashion and all that. But uh, Ava, more fashion, without a doubt, Nolan is Allison, cause like he he manipulated all of them to keep in their keeping, do whatever he wants to keep their secrets, like Allison did long long ago before she. Turn a new leaf. And then I watched it because I wanted to know what happened with Emerson. You know, Emily and em- Allison. I'm guessing there was there was a lot of issues. You know, a lot of a lot of things happened in the past. <laughs> but I, without a doubt, am going to just devote another seven years of my life. <laughs> to, to Meryl King another seven years but it's cool it's pretty good like and I'm so excited and I believe I also guys told told you about my interview with Old Navy they said that we will be they will be calling me on Tuesday so have your fingers crossed I will finally get a job meaning I can finally pay for more items to um to improve on my videos where I make them yeah but anyways as you guys know this is daytime because I wanted to do it little now because knowing me I'm probably taking a nap and then once I wake up I'll be like Nah, and then go back to sleep. Ooh, I felt like a little hiccup. Excuse me. But anyways, hope you guys are enjoying your Thursday or Friday, depending where you guys are. And have a nice day, as you can see, afternoon or evening. Until then, bye guys.